morning guys. Hey, if you guys have been following me on my social media, you know that Primo sent me one of their Oval XL, oh that's hot, don't touch it, uh, one of their Oval XL cookers for me to use on my channel, and I'm really excited about that. I've been testing this behind the scenes. So I did some ribeyes the other day, they turned out fantastic. I did some ribs that were also really, really good. Um, some chicken, I, I've just really been playing around with this. And last night I decided I was going to do a overnight cook just to see how it, how it did. And it occurred to me later that that might be, or later is now, um, this is the next morning. Oh, people, hi people. Um, it occurred to me that this might be something you guys would be interested in getting in on. So I was talking to Steve over at Not Another Cooking Channel not about this, but because my ADD is kicking in and I wanted to shout out his channel today, y'all go check out Not Another Cooking Channel. I swear to you, it's one of the best new channels you'll ever find. I'm not doing him a favor by shouting him out. I'm doing myself a favor because when he gets uber famous, Steve, you owe me a shout out. Crispy diner style hash brown potatoes. Perfect runny sunny side up eggs. Awesome guy, awesome channel. He's like, it's kind of like Casey Neistat meets Bobby Flay meets White Thunder Barbecue. Yeah, so if you know those channels, I don't know if Bobby Flay has a channel, but you know, it's kind of a, like if all those people had a baby, you'd kick out Steve. Uh, sorry Steve, that was weird. But y'all go check him out. But anyways, this the pork butt, I put it on last night, I seasoned it up with a rub, it's right here, hang on. It's Simply Unique Rub. Um, by a company called uh, da, 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 Big Country Barbecue. I met these guys, or I met one of the guys, the dad of this barbecue team that developed this rub a couple of years ago, right after I started. And this is one of the better pork rubs I've ever used. Like, I mean, it's, it's really, really good. The pork went on around eight o'clock last night, 8.30, it's about nine o'clock now. I set up the firebox different than you would think because it's a split firebox, so I was able to leave half of the firebox off, or excuse me, the heat deflector and the grill grate off, and that gave me access to the coals, so I could stir them whenever I want. I didn't really need to. I say that, I did stir the coals once, just because I was going to bed, and um, figured why not, I had access to it. Right after that, it jumped up to 2.37. I went to sleep, didn't wake up until this morning, and it was at 2.19. So, that's, I mean, that's, that's as good as it gets, you know, that's, Really, I mean, to not have to think about it, I was, I was really impressed with that. And the pork butt looked gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous. It had a really cool color on it, and I mean, it just, it just really looked fantastic. So let's take a look at this and see what you think. It's been two hours since I checked it last time. We'll see what it looks like now. Okay, so here it is. Uh, we're about, ooh, like I said, 13 hours into it. I gotta tell you, this turned out gorgeous. I cannot believe how beautiful this bark is. Actually, I believe it. I'm just pleased with it. Um, to not have to touch this at all is fantastic. And you can see here how much, you know, lump we went through. I mean, there's plenty to finish this cook up. Yeah, so this is going great. Right now the XR50, which is the thermometer I'm using, um, I'll give you a shot of that real quick. Um, if you're interested, you can get that at Adrenaline Barbecue's website. I'll put a link to that below. Anyways, it says the internal temp is 170. I'm gonna go ahead and crank the heat up a little bit and finish out this cook, because I don't want this to take all day. But uh, I wanted to give you guys a little uh, update, a little sneak peek on how we're doing so far. And uh, yeah, it's a fun day. I love, I love cooks like this. This is, this is why I barbecue. Okay, so we're at 191. Let's take a peek at this. I don't expect it to be ready yet, but um, it's not too early to start testing for tenderness. Here, let get hot. Yeah, that's definitely not ready yet, but it sure is pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz this. I'm just using 
apple cider vinegar. You could throw apple juice or some other kind of juice in there if you wanted to. But um, today I'm just using apple cider vinegar. I've got, it looks like quite a bit of charcoal left. I think I'm gonna make it on one load. Now remember, this is half the firebox. So this actually holds twice as much as what I'm using. So I like this, I like where I'm at. I'm gonna give this another, probably an hour or so, and it should be about ready, and then we'll cut into it and see what we think. Yeah, this is ready. This is very much probe tender. Um, very cool, very cool. Now, one thing I wanted to show you guys about this cooker that's pretty cool, you can fit one of these little half foil pans in half the cooker. So it's a real easy way to manage cleanup, which is great. So I'm gonna try this new sauce today. I'm gonna put this on here and give it a chance to, um, to caramelize a little bit. This is was sent to me by um, Old Hickory Pits. It's apple Q sauce. The guy reached out to me a couple days ago and he's like, yeah, you should try it on, on ribs, you know, pork. He's like, it's pretty good. And I mean, everybody, Everybody who sells sauce thinks it's pretty good. This is good, y'all. This is really, really good. He's right, it screams, put pork on me, or put me on pork. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. There's, you know, you try a lot of sauces when you're in this line of work. I sound like an old man. But you do, you try a lot of sauces when you do this. This this is one of the ones that stands out as, um, yeah, this is, this is great. So, but I'll put a link to this stuff. This is great, I'll put a link to it on, um, on Amazon that's how he told me to that's what he told me to tell you guys so that'll be an affiliate link which will if you use that it'll help my channel but I'm just gonna give this a nice layer of of coating I hope I'm not missing anything I can't actually see on the other side of the camera where you guys are seeing but this looks really good so far I don't want it to get goopy so that's why I'm kind of thinning it out I could add actually I think I'm going to I'm gonna add a little apple cider vinegar to kind of uh, thin it out just a little bit, just so it, it forms more forms more of a glaze than a than a toothpaste type <laughs> texture. Well, this is that, y'all. I've got a really really cool announcement coming up. Hopefully, the next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'll give you a hint. I'm getting a really I'm getting a new cooker. Um, and it's a really really cool one. So I hope if you made it this far in the video you You will subscribe for that next video because I think I think you guys are gonna love it Okay, so I'm gonna put this lid down let this caramelize and then I'm gonna let this I'm gonna pull it and let this sit and rest for Ideally two hours. I don't know if I have that much time. I'll bring it back I'll bring you guys back whenever it's time to pull it apart and uh, show you what we've got here but man, so far this smells amazing. It's very, very tender. That's what you're looking for with pork butt. You want it to be tender when you probe it. That's how you know it's done. It's never done until it's tender when you probe it. So keep that in mind. And um, yeah, this is this is looking good. This is smelling great. Again, we have probably have about a quarter of, no, probably about a fifth of our charcoal left. So considering that is half the charcoal, I mean half the firebox, to be able to do, oh my gosh, we started at three, we started at nine, at 8.30 or nine, somewhere in there, and it's 3.30 now. You guys will have to do the math. I think that's 18 hours, over 18 hours. That's great, I'm happy with that. As you guys can see, this turned out fantastic. What you can't see is I've tried to film this three times and each time it started raining in the camera. That camera right there is in this gap between the house and our covered patio. We'll call that the camera death gap. So we need to shoot this really quick before the rain comes back. But short answer, this is fantastic. I, I think you can see, I think you can see from this angle right here, the bark is great. The meat is very moist. 
This sauce, y'all, this sauce is ridiculous. I think this might be my new favorite sauce. Old Hickory Pit Apple Q sauce. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is really, really good. So thank you so much for watching. You know how much I appreciate you guys. Um, thanks to Primo for sending me the pit. It's a really, really nice cooker. I really enjoyed using it. I, I mean, I, I basically just I basically just slept the whole time. So that was easy. Um, yeah, y'all check out Steve at Not Another Cooking Show. He's super talented. If you want to see another video where we have the Primo in it, click right here. This is the time when Harry Sue and Amum and Claymum and T-Roy and What's New Barbecue came over. We had a great time. And I love you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.